Try your ghost pepper nuggets. Okay, any sauce? Um, yeah. Give me, give me anything. It's fine. Any sauce? Okay, anything else? And then a small fry. Okay. And I have one other question. Do you have any milk, like containers of milk? Let me take uh, white milk, please. Okay, anything else? And that's all. Okay, milk, Okay. What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> I'm a Bridgeport representer. If you know what that is, you know you're from Bridgeport, you love the city with its ups, its downs, and everything in the middle. decided to be in my particular neck of the woods this is actually boston avenue bridgeport connecticut i decided to swing down just now to burger king over here on boston avenue now as usual i'm gonna drop the address in the bottom of this video however i wanted to basically just kind of touch on the fact that i'm about to do something that i've never done in a video before and i'm doing it for you guys i'm actually sitting there gonna try their ghost pepper chicken nuggets Seen a few influencers right now, and I won't mention any names, but I watched them do their videos, and I'm not sold on it yet. Here's the thing. I don't have a lot of experience with ghost pepper at all, so I wanted to sit there and see if these nuggets are actually what people are saying they are. They're the hottest thing ever, and you got to actually drink milk. I actually just cop some milk. I don't drink milk. If I do have any kind of milk at any point, it's usually either almond or oat milk. I don't do regular whole milk. <sighs> also, a fun fact, and I'm being sarcastic saying this, I believe I am becoming lactose intolerant. Yeah, so I don't have any dairy pills or anything on me. I'm going to basically eat some really, really supposed spicy food today. It's a good thing I don't got nothing to do except go home and you get my point. Anyway, I'm going to get right into this one today. Enough talking. I want to find out. The ghost pepper nuggets, are they good with sauce? I got ranch sauce that the young lady at the drive-thru gave me. So I want to try a nugget without it, try a nugget with it. I'm also thinking kind of the only kind of bread I would really eat from Burger King today is going to be fries. I'm thinking to myself fries kind of bread maybe to help soak some of this up we're gonna find out i'm doing this for all y'all get it ghost pepper halloween y'all get it it's go it's almost halloween you get the point 
As usual, very, very real review. Y'all ready to get spicy? Burger King, your ghost pepper chicken nuggets. Here's the thing. They taste good, right? So you get fooled into eating more than one. I had one, and okay, a little bit of heat. I popped the second one. It hit me in the back of the throat. It, it's like literally punching me all on my tongue, in the back of my throat, my tonsils, the back of my teeth. I do see what you guys are trying to do with these ghost pepper nuggets. I'm thinking ghost, Halloween. I even took a quick sip of milk. I don't ever drink milk, but I didn't want to drink a lot because I wanted to basically make sure that I'm not in the bathroom. Okay, these are hot. Honestly, these aren't even fun hot. These are like, they're tasty for the first maybe five seconds, and then the heat starts to creep. And when the heat starts to creep, I start sweating profusely, like a runaway slave sweat. I'm with Harriet Tubman right now, trying to get past these nuggets. Bridgeport, I love y'all to death, I do. And I came over here today to get these nuggets and try them out. I got fries, a small fries, a little milk, spent $4 and change, you guys saw the receipt. But in either case, the ranch is what kinda helped in a little bit to save my life on these. I got an eight piece nuggets for a dollar and change. You wonder why they're so cheap, right? Think about that for a second. I do not believe that I'm sweating like I am right now. In either case, we came here today for a review on the Burger King spicy ghost pepper chicken nuggets. I'm going with a seven on the Burger King ghost pepper chicken nuggets. Why do you say a seven? Let me tell you, ready? Number one, the ghost pepper nuggets are tasty. They actually are surprising. Those five seconds later, it hits you. Wow, right in the mug, right in the mug. It was only four bucks, so cool. It's in everybody's budget, right? And they're a novelty item, and they're, it's Halloween almost, another week or so. It'll be Halloween. I like Halloween, I do, I enjoy the holiday. Now. The ghost pepper is kind of like a trade-off to regular nuggets. And honestly, the ranch is what helped me out. Call me what you will. The ranch is actually what helped me on these nuggets today. That's why I'm going to go with a seven because they were tasty. They were cost effective. Um, and they were, they were different. Do you know what I mean? They're just hot. Like Hades hot. Like 
I'm in Abu Dhabi hot right now. If you like the videos, do me a favor, click subscribe. Turn notifications on. Oh, my mouth. That way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays and Fridays, 12 noon Eastern Standard. And during the week as time permits. And once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm around for all the good food and flavors. If there's a health bonus, it's an added bonus, right? Burger King, I can't call any of this stuff healthy from the fried fries right to the nuggets which were just disrespectful disrespecting put some respect on my name with them things to the milk which y'all know i don't drink if they had almond milk eh, definitely but it probably wouldn't help me i gotta get out of here and go jump in some cold water but in the case you guys be cool on the other side of the pillow i'll talk to you next time